Good evening, Facebook Live group. How are you this evening? My name is Jack Phillips, and tonight I'm going to be uh, introducing a 40-week Read the Bible. Uh, I've got two special friends with me tonight, and we're going to go over some maybe some of your questions that you would have about uh, reading the Bible. And uh, so it's just going to be an introduction night. We're going to last about 30 minutes. And uh, next week we're going to be meeting uh, 7 to 9 o'clock. You're going to be able to come in person, Crosby Community Church, that's where we're at. Or you can do the Facebook Live, just like you're doing now. So I'm excited for what we've got tonight. Uh, I'm excited about these two special guests. I've got the great friends. I've uh, been friends for a long time. And so with that, I'm going to introduce my friend, Rob Power. Would you tell us a little bit about yourself, Rob? Hey everybody, how are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm Rob Power. I am a uh, member here at uh, Crosby Community Church. I've known Jack for a long time, um, and uh, it's been a great time knowing Jack. Um, and uh, we are uh, hoping that uh, this 40 weeks uh, changes your life. I think it's going to change ours, yeah. um, and we're very excited about it. And then the, my other guest uh, is fairly well known in the community. Uh, he's been a long-time friend, and I, I consider him a mentor of mine. Mr. Frank Hinder, would you tell us a little bit about yourself, Frank? Yeah, I'm the world famous uh, one and only Mr. Frank. Uh, man, I love kids. I love reading in the neighborhood and uh, schools, and so many of you might know me from that. But uh, I've been a Christian for uh, um, yeah, about, about that many years, and uh, <laughs> I uh, love God with all my heart, and I love reading the Bible, and so when Jack approached me about reading the Bible, I got excited, and yeah, this is going to be good stuff, because I like to read, and I like to uh, uh, share uh, Christ with people, and so uh, I've been uh, on uh, many, 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 many mission trips with Jack, we go uh, to uh, uh, do all kinds of uh, people's houses, uh, build, we uh, uh, just uh, take food. Uh, we just do all kinds of ministry together, and we've done that for a long time, and I enjoy doing that. And so that's uh, a little bit about me. I have a wife. I have uh, three children, and uh, I go to Bright Christian Church, but I uh, come here for uh, Bible study. Uh, this is on Edgewood Road, Road, if you don't know where this place is, and uh, come, and you'll be blessed. <laughs> So tonight we're going to introduce this 40 weeks, and uh, 40 weeks has a lot of meaning in the Bible. So it wasn't by happenstance that we picked this to go through the whole Bible in 40 weeks. Do you guys know of any? It ran in 40 days and 40 nights. I know that. Yes, I remember that. I think there's something about 40 days in the desert. Yeah, yeah. Jesus was 40 days in the desert. Yeah, and, and then uh, God, Jesus... Uh, when he, after he was resurrected, how long was he here? Oh, he was, he was on earth here. 40 days. <laughs> yeah. Went around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there is some significance to 40, uh, the, the number 40, and we're going to go 40 weeks. Uh, we are going to go uh, in order with the Bible. Uh, some of you probably have been through part of the Bible, or some of you may have gone cover to cover. Uh, but the Bible is made up of 75% of the Old Testament, so we're going to do three weeks in the Old Testament, and then we're going to do one week, which would be 25% in the New Testament. So that's how we're going to go, and we are going to go for chronological order. Uh, the exciting thing, what we're doing, is every week we're going to bring a new guest reader. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about that. I've got uh, some amazing people lined up. Uh, notable people, maybe that some not so notable. I've got some educators coming here, um, some people that uh, are well known in the community, some pastors are going to read for us. So we've got a lot of guests lined up, and I'm not going to share the guests until the week prior to them coming. So that might make you uh, kind of tune in and see what's going on. So are you going to tell us now what who's the next? Uh, well, maybe a little later tonight. A little later tonight. <laughs> little later yeah, tonight. Yeah, so um, Jeff, is this going to be kind of like a live audio book? Yeah. Well, yeah, I would say so. But uh, 
different people will read in different speeds. Uh, I've heard Frank read before. You, you've read once before. Haven't yes, you? I have read once before. So I'm, I'm, I got I, experience. <laughs> <laughs> so some people will bring it to life a little more than others. Uh, some books are going to be very exciting, and some books are going to be a little hard to bear with. But God has a message in the whole Bible for each one of us. Um, that's that's one of the reasons why I think it's important too. What if, what are some other reasons you guys think it's important? Uh, to read the Bible. But, uh, I, I think we ought to read the Bible because of what it says in uh, 2 Timothy that uh, uh, that uh, all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching and rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness <laughs> so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's useful for everything in everyday life. We need it. That's what it tells me yeah. in here in the second Timothy. So yeah. Yeah. I think it's very important that we do that. Rob, you got anything? On? So it's hard to follow that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to follow that. <laughs> but I mean, this book is like your instruction book in life. Mm -hmm. You never know where in the Bible that God's going to speak to you. And you never know what he's going to say. But there have been so many times when I've opened up the Bible to read something and not expecting God to answer me or to knock me over the head with a two by four or whatever it may be and and he can do that with any part of the bible so yes, yes. It, it's it's all useful and, and you can find an answer to anything of how you should do yeah, I've, I've heard a guy one time say it meant basic, basic instruction, instruction before leaving earth we are going to be able to come in person or we're going to be able to live stream. I said that before. Uh, we may be outside. Uh, it's a cool evening, so you may want to wear a jacket if you come come live. Uh, we're going to try to use that shelter as much as we can down there and be outside. Uh, but, but be prepared if you come live or if you come in person or, you know, it, if you're on live or if you're in person, you'll be able to ask some questions. So, Rob, can you explain how that might work if people had questions when we're reading, uh, let's say, Exodus, and they they're, 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 they don't quite understand it? We're not going to explain it that night. So, how can they find out answers? And so, we'll be able, you'll be able to ask questions on the Facebook live chat, or you'll be able to um, write down questions or text us questions um, throughout the week. Um, and we'll be able to answer those. We won't do them on Tuesday nights, but we'll get back to you uh, with our perspective on that, and which is really the Bible's perspective on that. And um, if you're watching um, on the live stream, you'll be able to ask questions on the live stream, which we'll be able to see afterwards, and we can um, we can connect back with you then. Well, we have an email address that we can email some questions to. Uh, do you have an address that, that we can? I'll be glad to give out my email address. And Okay. And I'm not going to be the biblical scholar, so I probably won't be able to answer them, but I have lots of friends. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot of friends, and uh, yeah. some of my friends could probably answer it on all, any question you have, so bring them, bring them, bring them. Bring them. Good, good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, Mr. Frank, you do some special things with your Bible. Uh -huh. I've heard you tell me some yeah. stories about it. Tell us, what it, give us some ideas on what the pieces so, are. So what I do with mine is I write notes in my Bible. I write notes to my kids, and uh, I tell my daughter, Andrea, to offer hope to the hopeless. You have the answer, share it, and that's from a passage in Jeremiah. And so I, I want her to know these things. And all through my Bible, uh, Andrea, risk being weird for Christ, uh, do what few people do. So I tell her all kinds of little uh, things that I think is important, and each one of my kids, I do this, I write notes in my Bible, and then I present it to them. I give that to them so that they know what I think is important. And in the back of my Bible, I have notes uh, written down to my kids, uh, uh, stuff that I think is important, uh, that your faith be bigger than your fears, uh, all kinds of little sayings and stuff that I hear. I uh, uh, do that with my kids, each one of my kids. I have three kids, and so I give them uh, each uh, this Bible here is going to go to my daughter Andrea. So I write 
in every one of my Bibles, I do that. So that's going to be part of your legacy. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. When you leave planet Earth, right. this is going to be an important thing. Yeah, when I go to heaven, well, then they'll have this uh, information and they can share it with their kids and their and their kids and their kids and it can go on and on and on. Uh, this is, uh, if you don't wear it out. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find another. Well, speaking of uh, Bibles, uh, Rob, we've talked about this. Uh, we're going to use the NIV Bible. Uh, for our reading. So tell the tell people why we're going to use the NIV. Sure, the, the NIV is the New International Version and um, it is written in a language that is more of today's language. It doesn't have a lot of thou shalt and, and before thee and, and, and <laughs> some of those things you might find in Shakespeare, which I hated reading in, in high school and college. Um, so it's a, it's a little easier to read. Um, it's a little more in, in, in contemporary language, but the meaning is still the same. Um, so it's not an interpretation, it is still um, God's word. Um, and it's just a, you want to be in a very consistent version as we're reading through it. Right, right. And Frank, if, if they don't have an NIV, uh, would they still be able to follow along? Yes, ye will know thy God by the uh, Bible that you use. Uh, if you use a uh, yeah, King James Version, you can follow along. Now, some of the words are a little bit different, but you can uh, you can basically uh, get the gist of it, and you can follow along pretty good with a different translation. That's awesome. That's so awesome. it'll work. All right, so we're going to be doing 40 weeks. We're starting on August the 18th, which is next Tuesday. So next Tuesday we're starting this thing, and what's the first book of the Bible? Uh, Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis. I meant, I meant Genesis. All right. And, and with that said, we'll be doing Genesis next week. And I, I, I sent, uh, we're only doing half of Genesis because Genesis is a very long book. But uh, we've got two special people coming next week. Uh, Mr. Frank is going to be one of the first readers. Uh, he, he was the first on the list because he is like a professional reader. And then the other professional reader that most of you probably had in school uh, is a, a lady very close to our hearts. Uh, she just retired uh, from Harrison Junior School this last year. Oh, I know this and, lady. I know this lady. <laughs> yeah, I love her. And, and uh, my son uh, is at PhD school right now down in uh, UT. And he gives this lady so much credit for what he learned uh, in English. So with that said, uh, Mrs. Bev Haas Yay! is going to be, is going to be our other reader uh, next week. So uh, I know Frank, I've seen them in, in action together before. So I know Frank and Bev Haas are going to be a lot of fun. And uh, they're not going to probably uh, give you a lot of insight on Genesis, although we are going to uh, do a little preview before they start. Uh, but I think they'll bring it to life. I, I'm just saying, I'm not for sure, <laughs> but I, I, I'm going to have some fun yeah, with it. Yes, yeah. they are. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is each reader is going to read approximately 20 minutes, then they're going to rest, and then the next reader is going to come on, on board to read. Uh, we are going to read a certain amount every week. We're going to try to stay, uh, like we've got Genesis broke into two weeks. Uh, I've got my list with me, but I'm not going to go through it tonight. Uh, but, but we have it so that they're uh, organized, so that we're not doing uh, half of Genesis and then we're going into the next book for three books. Ah, so, so, so it should make the flow good. That's, that's, that's what we're hoping for. So and if they miss a week, what's going to happen if they miss a week now? What happens, Rob? So you know, if you miss a week, you just need to go on to the Crosby Community Church Facebook page and you can find the post from the, that Tuesday's readings and you'll be able to listen to it. Um, so you can't try that right back up. Right back up. Ah, right. And, and so all 40 weeks will be will be posted on there that each week will be yeah. saved and it'll stay there. And, and uh, surely uh, all those people come in like, I, I've never been to anything or done anything. <laughs> that people don't say, oh, four weeks in and want to sign up. What happens, Rob, if they decide they want to come on board after four weeks? 
Jack, as I've told you before, there's never a bad time to start reading Amen. the Bible. That's right. That's you right. can. You don't have to start Genesis. You can start reading anywhere in the Bible. So if you want to come after the four weeks has started, then jump right in, and you'll be able to start the flow. And then if you want to catch back up what you missed, you can either catch it up along the way, or you can catch it up at the end. Um, but it'll be available, and, and we. Don't be afraid if you're not going to be able to make the first couple of weeks, or if it takes you a while to make sure you want to do this, we're still here, and we'll welcome you anytime you want to come. Yeah, a couple of months ago, I started reading the Minor Prophets and began there. That's right in the middle of the Bible. I began reading there and read all the way up. I'm now into the New Testament and stuff, and so I just I read straight through. Yes. But it didn't start back in Genesis. I just started at the Minor Prophets and read through there. You can start anywhere, and uh, it's so much fun reading the Bible and the stories. Oh, the stories that are in here are incredible, and uh, what our God can do and stuff. And it, it gets me pumped, you know, inside of that. Get in, get in these stories. I can't wait to read them. Me too, me too. So to uh, review, we're going to be here at Crosby Community Church on Tuesday nights. We are going to start reading at 7 o'clock. Uh, our intention is to be done by 9, but it's not going to happen every week. Sometimes it might be 9.15, sometimes it may be 8.30. Uh, so so the, the ending time will vary just according to how fast our reader reads and how much we have to read that. And what about, Jack, one thing that's on my mind, what about if I go on vacation? Can I get this uh down in South Carolina or down in Florida or over in uh, Africa. Can I get it someplace else? Frank, you can get just about anywhere. You can probably even get it if you went to the moon. So <laughs> anywhere where you can get online, <laughs> you can jump. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's going to be great. So, so I know the folks that are watching tonight are on Facebook. Uh, they're on Crosby Community Church Live, the Facebook page. So if you have somebody that you have in mind right now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, man, Jack needs this, or Jill needs this, or somebody needs this. Don't, don't hesitate. Go tell them right now to join, get on Facebook, and let's get going on this. Hey, wouldn't this be great for a family, the whole family uh -huh. together, you know, the little kids and the adults? together and then reading it and then and then talking about it afterwards yeah. and stuff. That'd be a great idea for a family to, to, to sit down, have family time. We're reading the Bible tonight. This is Tuesday. We do we're not watching Disney tonight. We're doing we're doing the Bible tonight. We're watching the Bible. So that's a great idea. Yeah. Good good concept we are. I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah, yeah. We're not doing a Bible study. We are uh, we are just reading, reading with God's yeah. word. And we're, we're leaving it up to God to point out things to us that we need to know. Uh, the Holy Spirit's amazing that way. He, he can show us exactly what we need. And I've been through the Bible many times, and I could not tell you how many times I look at it, and I go, did I ever read this before? It just comes flying off the page. Amen. Amen. So no matter how many times you've read the Bible, it's a live book. It's, it's alive. Uh, it, it is... The word is Jesus. There's just no doubt about it. And in John it says that. It said, he, you know, the word made flesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was Jesus. John 1. -1. Yeah, yeah, John 1, 1. Well, with that. So, Jack, what if people don't have a Bible? Oh, if they don't have a Bible. I'm, I'm just thinking right now, the Crosby Community Church. I'm going out on a limb here. But I'm saying, if this church will buy you a Bible and give it to you, there's no, no strings attached. You don't have to come here. Uh, we don't care. Uh, we, we'll find your Bible. Just let us know if you need a Bible. Uh, matter of fact, one of our guests told me uh, he does not have an NIV. So we are going to provide him with an NIV. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. and, and he is a prominent, well-known guy in our community. Uh, but he needs an NIV, so I promise you might oh, man. So I promise you I'll get you one, too. <laughs> That's so, good so, 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 Jeff, what if, what if I'm watching a and I'm not here and I need a Bible? Send me your address. <laughs> I, I know a guy that knows town like crazy. And he'd probably like to come and talk to you anyway. That's right. Yeah, so, so we'll figure that out. You just let us know and we'll figure out how to get it to you. So there's also 
the world of technology, there's all kinds of Bible apps that you can download. Um, my favorite is called Uversion. Yes. U Y O U, um, and uh, and it's got all different translations in it. You can just pick the NIV and you can follow along on your computer, your phone, your tablet. It's a it's a great app. Um, a lot of you to highlight verses as you're reading it that might strike you. Um, it's a, it's a uh, it's a great app, and, so, and it's free. And it's great. Yes. So God's God's word for free. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's probably the easiest way to, to get a Bible. So thanks for that. Uh, or get get one of these Bibles and start making notes in it. <laughs> you don't see it. You know, get, or decide your favorite person. Whoever your favorite person is, start writing notes to them uh, about uh, what you're learning in here. This is very important. This is good. this is important in my life. I think it will be important. Well, gentlemen, I thank you for coming tonight. Uh, you blow me away because I invite you and you never say no. So, so with that, we're, we're excited for everybody that joins in and we're going to have some fun. Um, maybe we'll have a party out of this. If, and, 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 you know, my dream is like your dream. If we got 5,000 people yes. in this, well, we oh, might have to go to the activity center. We're going to have to go to Paul Brown Stadium. Yeah. Well, yeah. Paul Brown Stadium, if we all get together, we can do this. It would be really exciting. So thank you guys, and uh, God bless you, and I look forward to this. God bless you.